Hey, this is Gary from 3 Bug Media, and today we're going to talk about local store marketing. And I'm going to make the case to you why you need to start thinking about expanding your reach beyond your retail storefront now, because it's only going to get worse as time goes on. Now, if you have retail space, you know, I've had retail space before, I know how expensive it is. You know, the, the retail rental market is super expensive when you throw in taxes, TMI, CAM, all that other crap. Your rents can get super expensive and they're always going up. They're never getting cheaper on there. So you always have to keep expanding your sales just to stay, you know, at your current profit profitability because your expenses are always going up when you have a retail store space. The other thing is your you're fixed to a specific geographic area when you have a retail storefront. And depending on your business, that could be maybe one mile, three miles, five miles, 20 miles, depending on what kind of industry you're in, what kind of business you have, where willing people are willing to actually get in their car and drive to your location. So the good thing with a storefront is you can probably convert more people because once they're in there, it's more of an experience. You can sell them face to face. They can touch and feel the product. So you've probably got can get better conversions than you would say selling online, but you're still very fixed about your geographic market and who's willing to come to your storefront. Now, the bigger problem is this. The people that are in this, this is your current reach here, the people that are in this reach right now, you're always losing them. You know, uh, depending on where, where you are physically, maybe you're up north where cities are shrinking, uh, or maybe you're in down south or out west where cities are growing or maybe you're in a neighborhood that's growing or declining That's always going to change a little bit with your with your reach here But the bigger problem is these people who traditionally, you know 20 years ago Had to rely on coming to your store to purchase from you no longer have to do that So if you're a furniture store traditionally people would have to come drive to you pick out the furniture You know and you would deliver it for them or, or whatnot but now these people can go online and they can get the same thing, more choice by going to Wayfair or Hayneedle or, you know, a thousand other furniture websites online. They don't have to buy from you anymore. And most of the time they can get more selection and they can probably get a better price by getting it online and get it shipped right to their door. So this market is always decreasing for you. It doesn't matter where you are, even if you're in a growing neighborhood this market is always decreasing for that pure fact that most people, people more and more are getting comfortable shopping online and they're getting used to that. So for you as a storefront, you need to start thinking beyond this reach, okay? Now there's several ways to go about that. Number one would be e-commerce. That's probably the one that you would jump to and think about first. And eventually you probably definitely want to start thinking about e-commerce if that's the right fit for your business because that's where the world's going people are starting to shop online and that's an easy way to expand expand your reach the problem with it is e-commerce switching your website over to e-commerce is definitely can be expensive it's definitely can get technical has a lot of challenges to it so even if you're not ready to tackle that right now put that on your roadmap because eventually if you want to you know grow your business you're going to start thinking you're going to have to start thinking about selling outside of your current reach okay but in the meantime there's lots of other things that you can do to start selling beyond this limited retail reach you know storefront reach that you have now okay some of the basic ones are and the biggest ones are ebay and amazon they're what what are called marketplaces online marketplaces so it's e-commerce but you're not actually selling e-commerce so picture yourself as you have a clothing brand and you negotiate your way to get into target and target actually sells the clothes for you that's kind of like an amazon or an ebay you're giving your product to them and they're selling it and marketing it for you okay and they're taking whatever cut they're getting for it but ebay is super easy if your product can work on eBay, eBay, you can have your stuff on there within an hour and start selling. So this is a super easy one to get started. Amazon's a little bit more involved. You have to go through an approval process and, and stuff like that. But Amazon, if you can get on Amazon, you can be super successful on Amazon and you don't have to do anything with your website or e-commerce. You can sell directly on Amazon. Uh, I have an, an e-commerce business. My wife and I, we sell gluten-free baking mixes. We've had it for several years, kind of like a side business for us. 
And Amazon actually sells probably 80 to 90 percent of our product, not our, not our, even though we have an e-commerce store, Amazon does it because they have such a huge marketplace. They have so many customers. They do the marketing for you that they do most of our selling for us. So you can think about getting onto one of these marketplaces or both and selling, you know, beyond your reach without you having to actually build an e-commerce store. And the same with uh, niche marketplaces, depending on what kind of, uh, you know, vertical you're in then there's probably a lot of smaller niche marketplaces where you can sell to. Uh, think of like if you're doing, if you're kind of arts or crafts, things like that, Etsy is a huge uh, platform for that. But any kind of niche, there's going to be some sort of marketplace where you'll be able to sell to too, and then you can investigate those. Uh, other things that you can do, social media. Social media, you can reach anyone, anywhere. You know, you, you can build communities worldwide or whatever. Uh, but the great thing with social media is there's a lot of apps, a lot of things coming into play now where you can actually sell directly on social media on there. There's, there's some cool apps where you can actually sell products on social media and you can actually use it, use Facebook Messenger as your checkout uh, method. People can actually buy right on, uh, enter their credit card right in Facebook Messenger and buy products from you. So you don't need an e-commerce store. You can start selling directly on social media today. Uh, same thing with your website. Maybe you're not ready to start doing social media, uh, social media e-commerce. Maybe you're not ready to switch over to e-commerce yet, uh, but sell, do phone orders on your website. Uh, I have a couple clients that do this. Uh, you just need to let people know, you know, advertise on your website. Hey, say, hey, we ship anywhere. We ship worldwide. We ship, you know, anywhere in the U.S. Uh, and maybe just say hey, $10 flat rate shipping or whatever, whatever you negotiate, advertise that. And all people have to do is just call you, you know, it's, sometimes if you just put it out there, people will take you up on it. You know, a lot of times they go to a website, they don't see e-commerce. They assume you will not ship anything, make it known. Hey, we'll ship anywhere. Just give us a call, $10 shipping or free shipping or whatever you want to have. And you can ship it up right out to them. Okay. So that's another way you can do sell online and increase your reach without actually having a e-commerce store. Okay. So these are all some examples of things you can do. Hopefully, uh, it'll give you some ideas and hopefully you'll start thinking about these and implementing them because like I said, when it comes to retail storefronts, uh, they're fantastic, but the, the cards are stacked against you and over time your costs can get more expensive and people are going to start turning more to online so it's a great opportunity for you now to start thinking about how can i expand my retail footprint beyond my limited storefront reach okay just to give you an example of how this works is if you're into photography you probably heard of bnh uh, bnh photo huge you know probably the biggest uh, e-commerce store and uh, retail space anywhere and they're huge. They have a huge online presence. If you want to see how e-commerce is done right, go to bnh.com. Uh, most people, if they go to Manhattan and you're a photographer, you have to make the pilgrimage to their retail storefront and go see. It's gigantic. It's fantastic. Uh, <clears throat> they're a giant in that industry. But if you go a couple blocks down the street, there's a little tiny storefront business called Adorama Camera. And their storefront is probably the same size as a Subway sandwich shop on there. You would walk by and not even know it's an actual camera, you know, a camera video store on there. But here's the thing. I bought my first camera, digital camera online about 13, 14 years ago, and I bought it from Adorama Camera. And at the time, I thought they were a huge business because as soon as I searched online, I found them and they were the first one to come up. They had a great e-commerce store and I actually ordered my first digital camera online from them. I found out about two years later when I was in Manhattan one day walking around that they were like literally a rinky dink hole in the wall retail store. But obviously they had the foresight to see the importance of e-commerce. They built their e-commerce brand and I can, I don't know their numbers. I can guarantee you their e-commerce store outsells their storefront a hundred to one today. So you don't, you know, get started now. You don't need to have a huge business to, in order to do it. Uh, but get started with something now and start thinking about how you can expand your current reach for your retail store. Okay. If you have any questions, you can go to threebookmedia.com. Thank you very much and have a good day.